What's up guys, my name's Ethan, and today we're talking about how you can master the pivot turn. Now this can seem quite intimidating at first, but with these tips and with some practice, you can spin around in circles in no time. So let's dive into it. All right, let's start things off here on the beach. I'm gonna be walking you through how to move your feet on the paddleboard to transition back into that pivot turn. So I'm using the Starboard All-Star Race Board just because a nice line down the middle of it to kind of act as a reference for as we're giving today's lesson. So there are actually two ways to transition back into the pivot turn. One is by walking back on your board by simply crossing your feet over each other as you're walking back to the back of the board. Or the other one is the slide shuffle. This will be putting your feet back and then sliding one foot to the next to get to the back of your board again. So we'll start off by talking about walking back on your board. The best way to start the transition into the pivot turn is by turning your front foot inward. So for me, I'm goofy footed, so my left foot is always back. So for my front foot, it's my right foot. So I'm gonna take my right foot and slowly pivot the front of it towards the center line of the board. The reason we wanna do this is because that center line of the board is the most stable as we transition back into more of a surfing stance. This gives us more stability side to side because we're walking more on the center line of the board versus on the edges of the board. So now that my front foot is on that center line, I start to slide my left foot to the back of the board, but I'm staying over that center line. And now you see my foot has turned sideways to where it was before. This allows me to have more balance side to side um, as I'm transitioning back into the pivot turn. So now that I'm in the surf stance, I'm gonna start off by teaching the slide method, which is basically bringing that front foot towards the back of my left foot and then stepping the left foot further to the back of the board. Now depending on how far you can move your feet will depend on how many steps you need to take or how many slides you need to take to the back of your board. But this is the basic concept of sliding back to the pivot turn as you slide your feet together. For me as you saw, for me it was just only two slides. So once again, I come to the front of the board, my front foot pivots in, my left foot slides back to the center line of the board, my front foot slides to my left foot, my left foot slides to the back of the board and I'm ready to start the pivot turn. As I said, the other way to do it is by walking to the back of your board as well. It starts off exactly the same way as sliding. You take your front foot, pivot towards that center line of the board, slide your left foot back, and then you take your right foot, instead of sliding to it, you walk past your left foot to the back of your board and take your left foot and walk to the back of your board. This can be a little trickier to learn, but it's also another great method for starting your pivot turn by simply walking on your back on your board in a quick way and then walking back to the front again to your board. So let's talk about that real quick. How do you transition back to the front of your board when you're back in this pivot turn? So once again, there's two ways of doing that. You use the slide method where you slide your feet back up to the front of the board and you're back up in that starting position, ready to go again. Or you can do that walking method where you take your left foot, step in front of your right foot, your right foot back in front of your left to the starting point and your left foot meets up with your right foot. So now you're back on the center part of the board and you're ready to take off paddling again. Now there are some things to keep in mind when doing the pivot turn. The first one is your paddle is your friend. The more you have your paddle blade in the water, the more stable you're gonna feel because that allows you to lean on the paddle blade to keep you stable as you're transitioning back and forth in the pivot turn stance. The second thing that's gonna help you is actually having forward momentum as that will create pressure on your fin, allowing you to feel more stable as well as you transition back and forth. And then lastly, the larger sweeping stroke you make with your paddle in the water, the faster you're gonna turn. All right, now it's time to take what we've learned and put into practice. Let's head out there on the water. So we're going to start small and simply take one step back to practice paddling and turning in that position. This allows us to get a feel for the board and our balance in this surf stance. Next, set out a buoy if you're able to, so that you're able to practice turning around it. Now that we've practiced this stance, let's take another step back and repeat the process. All right, let's make our way all the way back to the board to start our pivot turn. Once again, you can choose a sliding or walking technique. Now obviously when you first start doing this, you're gonna fall quite a bit, but that's okay. If you're not falling, you're not learning, you're not getting better at what you're doing. That's why my motto is learn, paddle, repeat. By doing that simple process, by going and practicing these skills, day by day you're going to get better and better and better. When I first started paddling, there was no way I could do a pivot turn. But nowadays with practice and more practice, I continue to get better and better. I continue to increase my skills that I've learned over the years of standing paddling. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video today. If you guys did, be sure to give it a like, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hasta luego, amigos.